Anyone notice this cute little voting button at the end of their games? Well, I did. And I think it got introduced a few weeks ago. Come on, be honest. Did you hit that bright red thumbs down when you lost and the green thumbs up when you dominated the lobby? Yes, I hear you. And confession, I did it too to begin with, so don't worry. But before we jump into some more things I looked into about this voting button, if you're interested in knowing if any brawl pass can fully max a brawler, then definitely check this video. Link in the description. Okay, so most of my games, I tried to make a conscious effort to hit these voting buttons, especially when I was either hyped or annoyed. I genuinely tried to be objective and still hit the thumbs up button, even if I lost, because I knew I made a bad play, but the map and brawlers I faced were fine. Then it got me thinking, how on earth is Supercell supposed to define what it is that determined whether I was actually having fun or not? Let's take Solo Showdown, for instance. I win the game, but I hate to see a Piper hitting me on the edge of her shot. So I hit the thumbs down without hesitation. How would they know that the determined factor of whether I had fun even though I won? Equally, I went out straight away, got 10th, but I played it so bad that I hit the thumbs up button anyway. Or maybe I came 5th, 10th or 1st. I absolutely hate the map. So I hit the thumbs down button, mate. As, you know, not having fun, innit? Let's be honest, the majority of people will hit, yeah, having fun when winning and nah, thumbs down when they lose. Bit of a speculation from me, but if I was a betting man, that would be my bet. But that's not where the story ends here, my friends. You see, let's take my new brawler I obtained recently, Buster. Buster is sitting at 98 trophies. Now we all know that bots play good games to around 100 trophies and unless you team up with someone above 100 trophies. And you can tell this because, well, you know, they do bot stuff. And every brawler at the start of the match has nothing equipped on their portrait. And I'm really sorry if I burst anyone's feel good moments if they thought they destroyed the lobby. But go you, I've been there, don't worry. Also, you don't lose any trophies prior to 100, so bot games all the way till this point, trust me, I tested it. So after this 100 threshold, you can expect to bump into players, and interestingly enough, they seem to be very closely linked to your overall trophy count and rank, but that is an investigation to prove definitively another day. Now, in the matches you see sped up, no matter how I voted the match, whether I won and voted thumbs up, or down, that seemed to have no correlation to what opponents I faced. At first, I thought the voting buttons might be linked to giving you bot matches if you kept voting thumbs down regardless of the trophies obtained, but it seemed like bot games were only given after you lost trophies to players if your overall trophy count was below 550 trophies. Damn, really thought I had a viral video on how to cheese trophies. So in conclusion, this voting button seems to not affect anything immediately that I can see. Could be something in the background that is subtle, that maybe works over time, but really my best guess is that it's used to gather data on how people are feeling match by match. But I honestly think there are so many variables, I would imagine it might be quite difficult to draw an exact conclusion, even at mass. Being a data person from profession, my best guess is that there seems to be a theme where a particular map is consistently voted thumbs down, regardless of a win or a loss, they might be able to conclude that the map overall is disliked, but then surely brawlers faced in those games would need to be taken into account massively otherwise this would be an assumption and you know what they say about assumptions see if it was me and it would be tedious i would have follow-up questions if you vote the thumbs down that prompt a multi-choice pop-up that says brawler map or above and this option could be turned off by the players if you wanted to just thumbs down and it wasn't intrusive to people that didn't really care about it but some people love giving feedback like me but that's just my thoughts and a massive theory on the whole thing let me know what you think and do you vote away and what do you vote and why and i'll see you in the next one peace